State parks are not the only, not only a place of natural beauty. They are also turning into an important source of funds for the state. KITV Force Paul Drews takes a closer look at what's happening with this recreational revenue. On most days, the Polly Lookout is a busy place. Many come here to see the spectacular view of Windward Oahu. Basically, because of the view, you're not going to, not going to get a view like this. Um, it's just a, a stop that we always make every time we come here. Tourists may view it as a place to see Hawaii's greenery, while the state sees the park as a way to make some green. We're in desperate need of operating money. We need money for the water bill, the electric bill, fuel, fixing the trucks. So the new money from like parking or entry fees helps uh, subsidize our operating costs big time. The new one of Pali Wayside is one of a half dozen parks where the Department of Land and Natural Resources charges those fees to commercial tour companies and visitors. We were looking more at where can we generate income with minimal impact to, to residents, but also tied in with the visitor industry because we know the visitor industry has some of the greatest impacts to our state parks. The revenue adds up. Last year, parking at the Pali brought in over $350,000. Fees from EL Valley on Maui, along with Apuna Beach and Akaka Falls on the Big Island, helped bring the total to over 1.1 million. That's still under the state's top revenue generating park, Diamond Head, which brought in 1.2 million by itself last year. The additional revenue is an earmark to improve these popular parks. Instead, the state spends it on maintenance of this and other recreation areas, many that cost more than they bring in. Well, no improvements have been made here, like adding a bathroom. Cottrell says having someone in the parking lot at all times has made a difference when it comes to safety. We did uh, checks with HPD, and the vandalism and breaking the cars dropped significantly once we had an attendant on site. It's the best three dollars I could spend. <laughs> yeah, actually, we most definitely um, worth it. Millions more in revenue may sound like parks aren't hurting for funds, but Cottrell says that is not the case. 20% of revenue off ceded land goes to OHA. While over the past two decades, general funds for parks have been cut in half. So the state is already looking at other ways it can make even more money. We're like a family looking for coins under the couch. Uh, Diamond Head, we're looking at a three year lease for a small uh, interpretive gift shop. At the Poly Lookout, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.